much for keeping it Y254. My name is Ram Aguko. If at all you're just joining us, you're just in time for the very next conversation of the day, and it's all about cancer awareness. This particular conversation uh, is, uh, is something that, you know, uh, comes at a very good time because as a nation, we need to remind ourselves, we need to be aware about the signs, symptoms of, uh, signs and symptoms of cancer. What are some of the myths and misconceptions in regards to this particular disease? Uh, do we have, uh, you know, um, any uh, vaccine or any cure or any med uh, form of treatment that exists in regards to cancer, send in your questions uh, on this particular issue. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Aguko and that Michelle Ashira also at Y254. Ensure that you can engage with us. We shall be sampling your feedback a bit later on as we proceed with this conversation. Uh, uh, to, to help us um, uh, understand more on cancer, I'm joined by Dr. Catherine Yongesa. She Thank is an you. oncologist, Kadub Sana, Dr. Asante. Yes, mm. uh, to, we're here to uh, demystify cancer. We have heard people say that ukiweka chakula kwa microwave, it can give you cancer. <laughs> is it true? Is, is that no, true? No. no. no, no, no. <laughs> Today we want to find out <laughs> about this particular issue. So engage with us. Let's look at the numbers. Now, in Kenya, according to the stat uh, to statistics, uh, Kenya is uh, you know, uh, having cancer as the third leading cause of death after infectious and uh, cardiovascular diseases. Now, from the year 2012 to the year 2018, the annual incidence of cancer increased from 37,000 to 47,887 new cases. Now, during the same period, according to statistics, the annual cancer mortality rose uh, to up to 16%. Now, we are talking about from 28,500 to 32,000 987 cancer related deaths. It means you're talking about an increase in terms of uh, statistics. What about 2021? How are we doing in uh, this particular year? Well, uh, let's engage in this particular conversation. Dr. Catherine, yes. why is it that we are seeing this increase in number of uh, you know, cancer related issues? Let's start from there. Okay, so there are multiple factors. Mm -hmm. um, number one is we are also adopting the Western lifestyle mm -hmm. um, in terms of um, using a lot of fat in our diet, um, industrial pollution, and then uh, use of tobacco, alcohol, and then um, the issue of the increase in population. Uh, increase in population, population has an effect. As we have more people, uh -huh. You know, cancer, when it occurs in a population, is like by chance. So uh -huh. when you have uh -huh. two people, the mm -hmm. chance of them getting cancer may just be like almost zero. But if mm -hmm. you have five people, mm -hmm. you find that the chance is higher because you have more numbers. So okay. as our population okay. grows, mm -hmm. then the chances are higher. So we are uh -huh. getting more people affected by cancer. Uh -huh. And then the aging population. Um, people are living quite long. Mm -hmm. And as we grow older, um, we get exposed to some of the cancer-causing agents in the environment mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. likelihood of getting cancer is also going to rise. Mm -hmm. What are some of these um, agents that uh, are cancerous uh, or cancer-causing that exist in the environment? Let's speak up from there because right now we are talking about we are <laughs> at a pandemic. Yes. <laughs> so uh, things moving in the air are, uh, you know, um, a, a lot. Conversation about viruses being transferred from one person to another through the air. What are some of these issues that, you know, are cancer -causing agents that are airborne? Um, unfortunately, majority of them we don't know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but there are a few risk factors. Mm -hmm. For example, um, there are cancer-causing viruses mm -hmm. in the environment which can be transmitted from one person to other, another. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, human papilloma virus that mm -hmm. causes cervical cancer and penile mm -hmm. cancer mm -hmm. and valvul cancer. Uh, we have the epstein bar virus. It comes like a flu. It causes Bucket's lymphoma. This is a cancer of, of the, the nodes the uh, or the, the jaw. The yeah. oh, <laughs> we the call the it Bucket's lymphoma. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. you can have a tumor growing in the jaw. Okay, uh, okay. Or uh, we have the, another virus causing um, liver cancer. We call mm -hmm. it uh, hepatitis B virus. Mm -hmm. um, HIV uh, related cancers are also there. Mm -hmm. So that is just mm -hmm. on infection side. Uh, uh -huh. Then we look at um, 
pollution, environmental pollution. We have yeah. a lot of industries that are coming up. Mm -hmm. They're emitting chemicals. So with the time, those chemicals may settle in our body. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We yeah. also, sorry, you asking uh, something? Uh, especially at this time, I was saying, especially this time when we have uh, a lot of development, mm -hmm. uh, you know, infrastructural development, uh, you know, um, industries coming up. We are looking into, you know, technological advancements. Yes, yes. So it, it, it has a ripple effect. Yes. And they say every time, everything we do for leisure mm. or pleasure can actually, it is good and sometimes it can put us at a risk of cancer. Mm -hmm. cancer. Like just going out to sit in the sun mm -hmm. for a long time, mm. is, it's good and it's also bad. Sitting in the sun can be bad? Yes. Especially oh. when the sun is very hot. <laughs> <laughs> sun bathing? You can actually get skin cancer. So it, we, we expect that when you, you, you think you're going to be in the sun for a long time, mm. just wear a hat or put sunscreen. All right. Uh, yeah. we, 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 we will come <laughs> into, we will delve, delve, delve more in regards to that. But now, let me look at still in terms of the numbers. Some researchers uh, have, the, uh, you know, have this belief that uh, over half of all cancer uh, uh, cases end up, uh, and, and up to half of all cancer deaths are preventable. Is this true in your case, uh, you know, in your opinion, is this a fact that you also subscribe to and uh, is cancer preventable? So there are those, um, there are um, what we call, th there are some risks that you can modify, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, mm -hmm. so that you, you don't get cancer. For example, use of alcohol and tobacco, excessive use, mm. you know it will expose you to cancer. The chances mm. are very high if you smoke. Mm. Yeah, you increase your chance of getting cancer Especially by... Especially liver cancer. Yeah, uh, very high. Mm -hmm. um, for liver, mm. yeah, you can go for vaccination because we've, we've said that probably use of, uh, I mean, infection by hepatitis B mm. virus can bring liver cancer. So if you are immunized against that, it is protective. Uh -huh, Cervical uh -huh. cancer, we're talking of human papilloma virus that causes it. So mm. the government is encouraging that young girls go for HPV vaccination before they become sexually active. Mm -hmm, yeah, so mm -hmm. that protects them in future. They already build an immunity. So mm -hmm. when they are sexually active and they get this virus, they already have protection. Is there, is, is, is there any particular age that uh, we are looking into for the girls? The best age is um, 9 to about 14 years, uh, but the government has put at um, 10 years. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's the, the age group that we are able to vaccinate. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, and you know, this is a question. Did you know that you are supposed to get vaccinated as a lady? Yeah? As a parent, is your daughter vaccinated? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they can visit the county hospitals mm -hmm. and inquire if the vaccine is available. Uh -huh. Yeah, those girls can be vaccinated. The, uh, is there a cost towards that? Um, when it was rolled out, it was meant to be free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for primary school kids. Okay. But um, if mm -hmm. you 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 are over ten or you are a young lady mm. and you want to be vaccinated, yeah. you can you will go for screening. You'll be checked. If you don't have the virus, they will. You can still get uh, the vaccination. Wonderful. But wonderful. you pay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, Dr. Catherine, let's look at the <coughs> signs and uh, symptoms of uh, cancer. What should people be looking out for? How does it start? So, <coughs> sorry, cancer when it presents, mm. most of the time it has very vague symptoms. Mm. Yeah, they actually look like they mimic infection symptoms. You may be you having it, feel, but you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. You just feel tired. Sometimes you're losing weight. You're sweating. But um, the symptoms also will depend on where the cancer is. It mm -hmm. could be arriving from, say, the breast. It will have their own symptoms. Mm -hmm. Prostate, their mm -hmm. own uh, liver, lung, different Dif symptoms. Different types of cancer come with different symptoms. Symptoms. Uh -huh. But uh, the general ones are um, weight loss, uh, having a lump that doesn't go away. Uh, you may feel pain at that site where mm -hmm. the cancer is. Mm -hmm. um, you, you may have even a wound. It's an unusual wound or an ulcer uh, in mm -hmm. that area. Mm -hmm. Those who ulcers or wounds can bleed. They mm. may be painful. So even this, these uh, uh, stomach ulcers that people normally have uh, that are... Uh, uh, as, uh, acid influxes, mm -hmm. they, they can also have an effect or they are correlated with cancer? 
Mm, okay, maybe yes, maybe no, but uh, the, the important thing is that if you have stomach ulcers, mm. when you get treated by medicine, it goes away. Uh -huh. But the symptoms of stomach cancer are similar to ulcers. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to hospital in and out being treated <coughs> for ulcers, mm. <coughs> it will be Sorry. good to have an endoscopy mm -hmm. to check if there is any cancerous ulcer. Because mm -hmm. you may just have non-cancerous ulcers. Uh, and, 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 and it is at, at this juncture that we would like you to ensure that you send us any questions in regards to this. Dr. Catherine is here to answer all of those questions yeah. as we proceed. On Facebook, we are at Y254Fork. Uh, make sure that you drop in your comment at the comment section. On Twitter, at Y254Channel. At Ram Maguku, at Michelle Ashira, the hashtag is Y in the morning. Uh, in regards to cancer, Dr. Catherine is here to help us in uh, uh, to demystify some of these issues. Um, so different signs and symptoms can, you know, uh, uh, depend on the type of cancer that you have. Um, because of time, we cannot dwell deeper in, in regards to that. But let's look at the myths and misconceptions of cancer. You started, you started earlier by talking about uh, sunbathing. Mm. And only some of that, it, 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 it has an effect. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned earlier that we are, we, we are getting accustomed to the Western culture. So let's delve there. What are some of these signs and misconceptions and myths that, uh, that exist? Just some of them. Uh, some people think that cancer is just for other people. It may not occur. It may not affect them. <laughs> <laughs> but we are all in it. And we you can now. get cancer. Uh -huh. yeah. um, <clears throat> the other thing they fear is that when you, get, if you have cancer, mm. you are going to die. But the truth is that we will all die at one mm -hmm. point or another mm -hmm. so but when you have cancer mm. there's still hope that it if you get treatment uh -huh. you still lead a normal life it doesn't mean that uh, once someone tells you once you go to, to, the, to the doctor's office and they tell you that you've got cancer mm. it is not a death sentence no no it's not a death sentence it's not wow. a death sentence uh -huh. we have a, <clears throat> a lot of survivors mm. who've been treated for cancer and they're doing very well Mm -hmm. Another misconception is that when you have cancer, you should not go for any uh, testing, like taking a biopsy, any cutting of any sort, mm. or removing the growth. That uh, if you, 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 any, if cancer is touched, you are mm. going to die, or it will spread. Uh, mm -hmm. That is just a myth because for us, even to confirm cancer, we need to do a, a medical test. And it will involve taking a sample. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if the cancer is early stage, mm. you may need to go for surgery to remove it, and it's okay. curable. So, so once it once it's cut off, yes, you, it's you a done deal. Heal. Yes. Uh -huh. So the myth is that the misconception is that don't go for it. It should not be touched. That is a, a wrong mm -hmm, message. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> wow, wow. And there are times when. Mm. Patients come like they have breast cancer. You have mm. a lump in the breast mm. or anywhere in the body. Then they, are, they, they go taking herbs and somebody tells them that, you know, when it bursts, it means your cancer in a talker. Mm. Eh? It is mm. coming out. Uh -huh. Actually, that one is delaying treatment. And when you find that cancer is bursting through the skin to mm. form a wound, mm. it's already advancing. It's making it worse. It, it actually is already in advanced stage. So let nobody mm. uh, lie to you that don't go for treatment. Take these herbs mm. so for the cancer to come out. Do these herbs also make things worse? They, they delay treatment. They delay the patient seeking actually the conventional treatment. Mm -hmm. mm. So based on your information, because many people go for home remedies, mm -hmm. they say uh, to Changanya here, let's, let's take this mix it with this, mm -hmm. you know, squash this, uh, <laughs> pour water on this, apply here, drink here, um, you know, uh, 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 run here, go there, see this particular herbal doctor. Mm. Would you encourage such activities? Um, no, no, I'm, I'm for conventional medicine, mm -hmm. but um, there are some, okay, common infections or some viral infections which have no specific treatment mm. and most of the time those ones you can do even lemon you know those simple things at home mm -hmm. but when you see that two weeks are going and there is really no improvement mm. you need to seek professional advice don't just take concussions mm. which have not been researched and if someone has concussions or herbs and they think this wa works 
wonders, mm. then let them bring them out to a research facility like mm -hmm. Kemri. Mm -hmm. they, they research on it and if it's found to help patients, mm. definitely will adopt. Yeah. But for now, I would uh, encourage that everyone tries to go get treatment via evidence-based uh, cases mm -hmm. instead of just taking things that have not been researched. So as, as we speak, there are no home remedies that help in cure, curing or preventing cancer? No, 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 no. Enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Aziko. wacha kuchukua ndimu. <laughs> ndimu <laughs> kama uko na homa eh. basi kunywa. Lakini oh. homa yenye yendi hata umekunywa ndimu. Hiyo eh. sio homa. Na kitungu saumu na tangawizi na maji moto. Those are all nutritious things. Eh. They are important for our body, but they don't treat cancer. Tumesi ya amesema, mm -hmm. daktari amesema. <laughs> Turning. Let's talk about tanning. Mm -hmm. Does it uh, 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 have an effect on uh, uh, you know uh, the body and uh, is it cancerous? Let's touch on that also. You mentioned it earlier. Mm. So we, if you have to be in the sun mm. between 10 a.m. up to 4 p.m. because mm. we expect that's the time when the sun is very hot, you should wear uh, either hat or use sunscreen on your body if you are just going to go out in tanning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, otherwise, we or even sit under the shade or when you are walking, then walk at least through uh, exposed air and a shade air. You know, the way in the villages walk along trees, along trees you know, yeah, we, they we provide too. very good mm. um, sunscreen. And that breeze. Yes. Uh, so, so, so staying or walking for long under the sun can have an adverse effect on your skin? Uh, because the skin, our skin is, is dark, it has melanin pigment, mm -hmm. but overexposure to sun, it breaks that and can cause cancer. Is there a particular time that someone should go outside and just sunbathe, and uh, a particular time that should not? You mentioned 10. What is the, be what is the other best the time? The best time is in the morning. Mm -hmm. and in the evening after four when the sun is less hot mm -hmm. but if you have to go in between it is okay but make sure you wear sunscreen, sunscreen. Mm -hmm. and then we see people who are more vulnerable to the sun are the albinos mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately they don't have that dark pigment mm -hmm. and those ones if you have a child i mean that's a special child mm. you should make sure you support them by applying sunscreen all the time mm -hmm. and let them have hearts so that they they are protected mm -hmm. from that and some people some people say that you kurenga si kurenga my friend you <laughs> <laughs> <Please> protect yourself si wao mnaona hata golfers wameenda wanashinda kwa golf course but they have by the way yes. they, they have hearts yes they have I hearts i thought it's just to be classy it's not style <laughs> <laughs> it's not style get a heart yes even if it's a lady yes you protect yourself. Let's talk about food and the microwave issue. Mm -hmm. Some say that when you pass uh, near microwave, when it is still on, or you know, there's always it vibrates, it has some cancerous effect, does it? Others say that putting food in a microwave um, has an adverse effect on you and uh, uh, on your body if you keep doing it every day every single day is it true what are the facts here so microwaves are um, actually some of the very safe rays out of the what we call the electromagnetic spectrum mm. so microwaves are closer to light for mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. and um, we use microwaves even the, those waves we use it for transmitting sound like in radio mm -hmm. um, our phones use microwave mm -hmm. so that range of the electromagnetic radiation it's it is not no non ionizing mm -hmm. so it doesn't cause cancer yeah. so you can warm your food in the microwave and eat it there's no problem we have another spectrum of what we call ionizing radiation and these are like x-rays like when you go for x-ray or you're exposed to radiation then that one is is can cause cancer it can be cancerous yeah to, that, are you saying that for someone who you are having you're being diagnosed of something totally different and they send a recommendation that you should go for an x-ray too much of that yeah. can cause cancer too much x-rays too much ct scans 
you know mm. yeah those ones or excessive exposure to radiation like you know we, we had the the tsunami the mm. nagasaki bombing yes, you know yes 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 uh, this, the hiroshima uh, and nagasaki yes so um, those ones you know we, there's a lot of it it, it is a nuclear accident mm -hmm, yeah and that's why mm -hmm. the un is trying to protect that people are not exposed to those nuclear accidents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how much is too much in regards to exposure to these X-rays and uh, CT scans? Um, after what number of these particular uh, scans should you stop as an individual? Okay, the doctor will advise. Mm -hmm. um, they don't do scans and X-rays just for for fun. Mm -hmm. um, the, usually the benefits outweigh the risk. Maybe the doctor wants to diagnose something that is ailing you, they'll mm -hmm. have to do the scan. Mm -hmm. But they generally will moderate. They won't just take you for unnecessary scans. Uh -huh. In fact, when, I, when we go back to history, when uh, the radiation was just being discovered by mm -hmm. some physicists, at that time it was very fashionable that in fact, the, the guy who started it is he's a physicist called Drunken. Oh. He took the wife's uh, X-ray of the hand and it showed the ring. So every time he could show that X-ray to people, it mm -hmm. was like, wow, wow, what is this you can see? <laughs> then suddenly, I, it, it's kind of romantic in a way. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can imagine if, if how the wife felt. <laughs> she felt good. So mm. then suddenly every, it was like fashionable. Everybody, you have ringworms, go for X-ray radiation. <laughs> you have um, some arthritis. People used to go, then they realized, huh? This thing is harmful because uh -huh. now people started having those Side complications effects. of exposure to radiation. Mm -hmm. So there's no safe radiation exposure. You have to see a medical doctor to mm -hmm. advise you when it's safe to do the x-rays mm -hmm. and how many. And they'll only do it for a purpose, wow. not for wow. fashion. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, let's look at uh, other myths and misconceptions. This device... <laughs> the phone. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of uh, some of these, the, 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 Dr. Catherine. Yeah. They say, uh, mm. let me give just but a few examples. Putting your phone on the charger and then it lies next to you, the mm. pillow, as you sleep, mm. that that radiation can cause cancer. Another example. Some say that while your phone is charging, and you pick up a call that it has some cancerous effects on you when charging. So they say that you should remove it from, charge, from, 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 from the charger. While another misconception, about, uh, uh, not, uh, another, another issue that is being raised is when you use your phone a lot during the day, that you keep on picking your phone and you put it next to your ear, that it has some radiation that affects you. So some will leave it, some, I've heard some people say that always put your phone on loudspeaker to avoid those radiation. This particular device, is it cancerous? Um, for now, there are a lot of myths, but uh, we don't have evidence mm -hmm. to suggest that phones are cancerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and as I said, the type of waves we are using, they are in the low energy range mm -hmm. and um, the microwave. The, the microwave technology, mm -hmm. so it is not harmful. It is not harmful, yeah. as you speak. No. Even but pa people, people really are you, I mean, you really don't want to keep picking your phone when it's on a charge. You know, mm. you can pull that. You know, it's electricity, mm. so you can pull that. Metric uh, chini lakini wataka ushike simu. Una vuta labda yoka kamba it can cut and then it shocks you. You know, because mm. then I wouldn't really encourage. But mm -hmm. it is safe to use phones for now. Even power banks. It is still safe, um, but things change. Mm -hmm. Can they not say never? Mm. Uh, if evidence comes out in future that actually these things are harmful uh -huh. then we will change the way we do things all right mm -hmm. um now one other issue that I, I, I want us to clarify and clear the air is cancer contagious cancer is a non-communicable disease mm -hmm. so it is not contagious mm -hmm. but they are cancer causing viruses uh -huh. which can be transmitted from one person to another mm -hmm. like a human papilloma virus through sexual uh, intercourse, mm -hmm. then it stays in your body for some time, then it 
can transform the cervix like for women mm -hmm. and cause cancer mm -hmm. um, it can transform the perineal area for women and men and they get cancer mm -hmm. um, hepatitis is also it can be transmitted between humans HIV can be transmitted between humans so those are cancer causing viruses uh -huh. but uh -huh. um, the cancer itself is not communicable. Not, not, communicable. Um, for Wonderful. example, so mm. if you smoke as mm. a parent, maybe you are a husband, <coughs> you smoke in the house and your wife gets those sm fumes, mm. then she's also a passive smoker or a mm -hmm. second-hand smoker. Mm -hmm. So she will get cancer because of your behavior of mm -hmm. smoking. Or so so you, you, you are smoking yes. can affect your wife and children, technically yes. your whole family. The whole family will be smoking. If you smoke in the house, mm -hmm. don't think it's only you. Everyone is smoking. Nowadays, is, uh, you know, it has been an, 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 an issue that people believed that cancer was mostly for people of a certain age and above. Mm. But nowadays you're seeing even children, you know, people of a tender age, you know, getting cancer. Is there a, a reason for such kind of an occurrence? Um, cancer can affect any age group, uh -huh. young and old. We see it in children uh, because of genetic issues, maybe there's a familial uh, gene that is transmitted and can cause cancer. Mm -hmm. um, we see it in in um, in adults, as mm -hmm. we said, the, those causative agents, the risk factors we've talked about: tobacco use, alcohol, um, and exposure to other cancer-causing okay. agents in the okay. environment. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I would say like thirty to 60 percent mm -hmm. of the cancer no one really knows why it comes it is mm -hmm. accidental it's accidental mm -hmm. so let's not blame each other say, uh, why yeah. getting yeah, cancer? yeah. yeah. You can only, it is by chance oh. that you can get it I'd I, I like to give you 30 seconds mm -hmm. to have a final word mm. to, to, to talk to Kenyans in terms of cancer awareness you know just what will be your uh, uh, what should be our take home for the day so this month uh, being July, it's the Bone Cancer and Sarcoma Awareness Month, and we'll be looking at bone cancers, um, primary and secondary. So you see um, any person with a growth on the bone, cancer can affect bone. Usually, it weakens the bone, so some eggs in the in the in, in the bone or swellings, don't ignore them. Mm -hmm. uh, have a checkup by the doctor. And the color for the bone cancer and sarcoma awareness month is yellow. So anything, mm -hmm. just when you see anything yellow, mm -hmm. go online and read about bone cancer and sarcomas and how do they present and how can we detect them early and get treatment. Wonderful. And cancer is not a death sentence. There is mm -hmm. always hope. There is hope. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. So this, this month, let's paint the country yellow. yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Catherine, yes. Asante sana. Thank you. The, I was with Dr. Catherine Nyongeza, an oncologist, you know, demystifying cancer, finding out the myths and misconceptions. She has done a wonderful job, and sure that you also engage with us on our social media platforms as always. Well, it's a wrap. That brings us to the end of this show today. I believe that you've had a fantastic uh, time from the time we started till now. On behalf of everyone that ensured this show was a success, uh, uh, I want to say to thank the producers, the directors, uh, myself and Michelle, want to wish you a blessed day. May God bless you and may God bless the work of your hands. Stay safe. My name is Ram Aguko. Goodbye. <laughs>